Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about trespassing in Arizona. Now, under Arizona Revised Statute 13-1502, 1503, and 1504, uh, trespassing occurs when a person knowingly enters unlawfully on a property in violation of a posted sign or after being told to leave by a person who's in authority. Um, now, what is a posted sign? A sign that's something that's conspicuous. Uh, it's 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 posted right in front of you, conspicuously posted is what they call it. Not something that's hidden around at another gate 100 yards away. Now, if you're in a fenced residential yard or a non-fenced residential yard and you're peeping in the windows, um, such as a peeping Tom, or if you're on property for the purpose of defacing a religious symbol, that's such as cross burning, or you're in a fenced commercial yard, all of those are trespass. So that means you could walk onto a church and you're fine. But if you walked on a church to deface some property, you're now looking at a class six felony. Now, if it's a regular misdemeanor trespass, you're facing punishment of probation to six months in jail. If it's a class six because you walked on to a, uh, a church to deface property or you went to a public utility to disrupt the public utility service, you're looking at a class six felony, which is probation to two years in prison. Now, as probation, the judge can give you certain terms. Don't use drugs, remain law-abiding, report to UPO. But the judge can also say, I'm going to give you jail as a condition of probation, anywhere from zero days up to a year in jail. So it's important you have a lawyer who knows what they're doing. Now, defenses, lack of intent. That means the sign wasn't obvious, I just wandered onto the property. Lack of knowledge. I was invited into the party, but I didn't realize the guy who invited me in didn't have authority to invite me in. So now it looks like I'm a wedding crasher, something like that. Uh, common defenses, Miranda rights violations, coerced statements by the officer, denial of right to counsel if you ask for a lawyer and they wouldn't give you one, video surveillance. Oftentimes these areas have lots of videos and we can show that you just simply wandered into the area and it wasn't like you were casing it for a burglary. Sloppy police reports. This happens all the time. Lots of defenses buried in the police reports. So if you or a loved one was charged with trespass, give our office a call, set a free initial consultation. It doesn't cost you anything, but it takes about 30 minutes. Come on in and see us. We have multiple certified criminal law specialists. We'd love to help you out, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.